Hello, good evening, and welcome back to Slime Rancher. I'm Modia Parandis. We are over on... Let's bring up our map here quick. We are over on the island here. Uh, the Dry Reef Island over here. Um, and we are currently trying to gather up a lifetime supply of chickens for our winner of the Saber Slime Contest last episode. We're just going to give him his own private suite on Ogden's Ranch. And he can have all of the stony hens he can eat. And uh, we'll have a coop over there for all the stony chicks to grow up nice and big and strong for him just to be, keep that, that, that prize going. And that, uh, that tabby will be the happiest tabby ever. But while I was exploring around here, I managed to stumble across, is this another stony chick? Yes, it is. No, it's not, it's not, it's not. Oh, it's regular, it's regular like chicken. Nobody wants those. Nobody wants chickadoos. Nobody wants chickadoos. Chickadoos aspire to be stony hens. Um, I found at the top of the thing here. See right there. Uh, I found another vault right there. Wait, right, right for the taking. I did not know we were going to do this episode. I really wanted to do another episode because I love this game and I love any, any excuse to play it. But uh, we are running out of content for Ogden's wild update. So I don't think we're equipped to go into this right now because our pack is very full. And there will be some golden ports we can get in there. We need some food to feed them. So we can't do that just yet. Uh, what we need to do, though, is head back home. And maybe we'll just make a note of this for later. Um, for now, I want to head back home, though, and, and give our... Our tabby saber slime. It's just desserts, which is also its dinner. And breakfast, which is stony hens. Day in, day out. Never going to get sick of those. So, I found a few treasure pods over here, not too many. And I found one thing that I should have had for our contest before. I totally blew it. Totally blew it. We blew our idea already. Can't do it again. We should have done the, uh, a different portion of the contest would have been the, uh, the fashion show. And we could have used all these little gadgets we can make. We have like the googly eyes and the fashion gadgets and that kind of thing. We could have used that to equip them with all kinds of stuff and seen what they come up with as far as, uh, you know, cool ensembles that could have maybe sway, 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 swayed, swayed the judges one way or another away from the tabby. So maybe we need to have a second pageant for uh, the Saber Slimes again. Or maybe we just do our one in general, of the best in show of... Uh, our regular, our regular uh, slimes here, maybe. I don't know. I think can we we have to be able to dress Largos, I would imagine, right? There wouldn't be much point otherwise. Let's grab these and over here for no reason. Oh, I have no room for it. Shoot. Oh, you know what I can do? I can lay down the refinery. Let's just do that. Uh, let's just put it right here for now. Utilities, warp tech, refinery link. There it is. And we can just dash off a bunch of our stuff here. Could have done this anywhere. Could have done this back at the other place. That's okay. And we can just pick it right back up again. Boom. Nice. So yeah, we can totally make ourselves some uh, those fat little fashion gadget things. And uh, have another uh, fashion show, maybe. Decide which is the best. Uh... Huh. Interesting. I was I never really explored around this area. Got mushrooms don't do much over here. All the plots we have are filled here. There's this over here, which had a pot on it, and not much else. Little crystals in there. And I don't think we can go anywhere from here. There's just a, yeah, I think that's it though. Not a whole lot of secrets here, I'm thinking. But maybe there are, maybe there's a couple at least. I don't think they will add anything too substantial to this portion of the game though. So we get a nice little walkway up to our uh, home for you and you look hungry. There you go, have some of that and be happy. There you go. So he'll be our main producer, our only producer of Saber Slime Plorts, and that's fine. I don't think I need much of those. Um, we will demolish one of these and put down a coop right here so we can raise lots of stony hens for him. And I don't really have any plans for this uh, area here just yet. I mean, maybe we'll do some more farms or something over here. I don't need much more for corrals right now, but we'll make a nice coop and we'll make it a nice, nice vitamizer. And high walls, just in case. And then we'll put all of our stony chicks in there. And then we need to also get a rooster from someplace. Let's throw a couple stonies in there. Let's throw 10 into here for now. 
just so he's well fed. And, uh, he should not want for anything in this environment. He should be happy. So, yeah, we'll, uh, grab us a, a roostro from our other farms here. Probably should have one around here someplace. Might be an elder, who knows. But those chicks should grow up nice and strong. And, you know, maybe I don't have a rooster anymore. Briar. Did I eat all my roostros? I mean, I didn't personally, but... You know what else we need to get for our, our winner over there? Need some toys. What do you think a Saber Slime Tabby Largo would like? A Saber Tabby Largo is going to like for toys. Let's go take a look and see what the prize vault has for him. So, a big rock? No, nah, this doesn't seem quite right for him. Rubber Ducky Stuffed Chicken. That seems like the way to go. Stego Buddy. Interesting. Soulmate. Charcoal Brick. Gyro Top. I think because he's a saber, he might like a, a, a Stego Buddy. And he also might like a... Uh... Oh, we can't take this over to him though, can we? Because it just pops up right here. I can't take this with me. I can't take it with me. You can't take it with you. Unless there's a way to get a, a, a toy vault over there. Yeah, it's just going to sit there now. Oh, you can't be over here, man. You look at your own private oasis. If you're going to be over here, you can't get you any toys. Oh, that's so unfortunate. There's nothing I can do. For Wait, is this it? Oh, I can. Good. Good, 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 good. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, so we get you one of these. And get you one, uh, a yarn ball. You're going to love that. And get you another toy here, too. A buzzy bee? Isn't it the name of the animal from uh, a stuffed chicken a lot too? Yeah, it's a total good play toy for him. Okay, cool. We got the main staples of a of a happy tabby. Come back here. Oh no! He's getting away. Where's our stego? There he is. He's got all of his uh his food groups represented there. Stegosaurus. Uh yarn ball and that. And this this guy just took to the skies. Well, that's, that's too often already. You have to hang out with so many chickens in here. He's gonna, he's gonna be like be full of chickens mostly. Even the lowest setting is too fast for just that one guy in there. Well, hopefully he doesn't mind it too much. Throw a tabby floor back in there. Well, he'll he's hungry. I guess we'll have lots of chickens sit around in there. I shouldn't put too many in there though. We could fill this one up to the max, but uh, probably shouldn't too much any any in his thing too many anyways. But yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful thing here. Congratulations, Mr. Saber Slime Tabby. Your beautiful thing. Your beautiful thing. Yep, and the happiest chap in there forever. Never gonna have anything to worry about. A life of luxury, but very lonely existence, unfortunately. Maybe we'll get him a girlfriend at some point. I don't know. We'll have, to see. we'll have to see what we can do. I don't know what we can throw in there that's going to be, uh, not cause a, just, just a big old tar mess. But that's our problem to worry about later. So for now, let's, uh, let's go explore a little bit and see if we can go explore and find the other. Oh, we can take this guy someplace. Where can I throw you? Where can I give you? Um, do those guys have a toy? Those guys don't have a toy. You guys need a toy? They don't have much else going on. They're very, very hungry over there. Oh, they're in pain. I can't be, I can't stand to see them in pain. So I'm just going to walk away. Um, we need to go exploring for the last vault too. And uh, our only lead. Well, we also need to get two keys. Um, so I know that it's an indigo quarry someplace. And let's just take a look at our rates right now. So not good for gold at all. Not good for anything right now. Everything's tanking. So our only clue right now is that it's an indigo quarry. We found the one that's in dry reef. We found the one that's in the moss blanket. And uh, the final, the final, final, final will be an indigo quarry. And so we need to go explore that around here. And we need to get from there. We go from over here. Yeah, go from over here. This will take us about midway through. We have to go back through the beginning though, just to be sure we don't miss anything. I'll also be looking for... I'll also be looking for the purple uh, boxes, the, the treasure pods. And uh, we'll just kind of explore around the Indigo Quarry. And I guess some of our stuff is done here. Uh, do I want to activate that and do all that right now? Oh, I don't really want to. Did I remember to bring back my other thing? 
I guess we could just drop it off really quick. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe we'll get something good. You never know, I guess. We'll just do it. And you... I don't quite know what's here to collect, actually. I had this set up for some reason. Did I have a lot of them set up over here? Just the two, okay. I don't know. I have I had drills here set up for some reason. And they have these at least one more use on them still. Alright, so where do we explore? Where do we start? I mean, I guess let's go to the beginning and start looking around from there. High is probably better because because that's gonna be more likely we'll find uh treasure boxes. I say that, but I found one right here. Just like that. And we got the Royal Fashion Pod. Fashion pods allow you to back up fashionable accessories for your slimes. Shoot them on the slimes. Get them totally to, to totally up their game. See, that's what I should have done for the uh, the pageant. I had a second round. And using those kind of gadgets. That would have been, a, would have been exactly a cool thing to do. Again, I don't know if I want to revisit the idea. It was kind of a dumb idea to start with, wasn't it? It was a silly episode. I don't know why it's any better or worse than this episode will be. Probably was better actually than this episode will be. Because who knows what this episode will be. This episode will be just uh, me wandering around maps we've seen a hundred times already. But looking this time, looking, using my eyes instead of my mouth to talk about things. And we found the cave here. Probably something good in here. Hasn't been fully explored yet. I'm sure. Hey, look at that right there. Right off the bat, we found a Z or 7Z pod. Right? We got Crystal Cluster. And there are more things to find here still. Does this damage us? It's just leaves, right? Yeah. It looks like lava, but it's just leaves. Um, again, we got to search high and low because we don't know. We could be anywhere. I've never seen a map of where all the treasure pods are located. I feel like at some point, maybe there should be a treasure pod uh, locator thing we can get. Maybe not. Maybe a little too easy then. I feel like this may be like a hot cold. Something like that. Or what about like a, a slime? Oh, here's an idea. Here's a, here's an idea. A slime that goes hot and cold. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, so a new slime. It's a hot and cold slime, right? And it lets you find treasure. By you feed it something. And then it, it tells you if it's hot or cold. Based on how close you are to treasure. And you have to kind of feed it and carry it around. And then uh, once it stops working, you have to feed it again. And so it gives you kind of a, a reason to uh, carry food around. You'd have to carry food around with you. You have to carry a slime around with you everywhere you go. You'd have to uh, make sure all the plorts and that kind of thing get collected. Otherwise, it'll get turned into a tar. You gotta make sure it doesn't roam on its own. That would be kind of interesting. And it'd be a way to use those 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 puddle and uh, fire plorts for something. Besides just sails. Grab you guys for, for now. Don't know what we're going to find. Stony hens are good for our, our chicken buddy. So we'll take them. And uh, I think that'd be kind of a cool idea. I don't know. Off the top of my head. It's kind of a kind of a fun thing. I don't know if they'll actually do anything with those those uh ports. You don't have to. It's fine the way it is. But they are gonna be doing new updates at some point here. And it seems like from the roadmap that I saw, it seems like the updates are gonna be tied, just like Ogden's Wild is tied to. A character the NPCs are gonna guide the future progression the kind of thing so like we'll have maybe uh an update for Bob at some point where it's a chicken kind of update that'd be kind of fun right what kind of update would Bob have like a new realm for us to visit there would be kind of interesting don't need to go back in here again this was already up there but uh yeah I don't think Bob's on the list as far as things to cover he will probably make appearances and other things and continue to just be himself um, but yeah, it seems like, I don't remember what they all are off the top of my head, but it seemed like to me that they're really focusing on the, the ancillary characters here now. And, uh, yeah, that could be interesting. I went to, I just came from this way, didn't I? Yes, I did. I'm going in circles now. So much, so much crystally. Anyways, um, so let's, uh, oh, you know what's over here? Is that, uh, that, that's, that, the rock, rock Gordo we've never dealt with yet. And maybe that'll get us another key at least, too. Might be a good idea to go visit him. He's back. He's over there? Where is he exactly? Oh, he's back over here, I think, actually. 
So we need food for him. Uh, yeah, he's down over here. So we need food for this guy. And we get him fed. Yeah, that's probably a good use of our time. Maybe we get a key out of it. Do the rock slimes give us keys? You know what? The last one just gave us a teleporter. So it might just be a teleporter back home, which will be less than fun. Actually, no, the teleporter that the guy gave us the last time was a two-way. So that actually would be useful if it's a two-way someplace on the ranch. I don't think there are any more two-ways left on the ranch, though. Normally, we could see the spots for them, but maybe there's one I'm missing, like up high or something like that. Completely possible. Um, speaking of missing things, am I missing any purple boxes? Probably am. It's going to be a pain to try to find all these things. I'm going to have to get a little list or something. And just follow along with that probably at some point. If I wanted to find all of them. I really want to find all of them. And I do want to, I do kind of want to find all of them. Because there's some cool stuff you can get out of those. Like the fashion pods we just saw. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe. But for now, we'll go back over to here. I believe the teleport is right over here. -ish. Yes, it is. What's up here, though? Have, have I gone up here? I got that. Was there another treasure pod, like, over there that I'm missing? Let's try it. It has kind of that feel to it, doesn't it? Like there's a hidden treasure pod over here someplace? Because there's this long pathway over here. Where is this taking me, right? Nowhere in particular. Nowhere in particular at all. Just taking me around the whole place. Letting me uh, get above the, the fray here. Oh, maybe not. Letting the fray come to me. All right. Well, we'll get back home. And then we'll go feed a, a uh, Gordo. <clears throat> Nope, this might be something. There's a pathway going around the back side here. No, nope, it looks like it always looks like there's something gonna be something there, but it's just nothing ever. It's always nothing. That's unfortunate. Now I'm all turned around in here. I don't know where we're supposed to be going. Um, well, no, my my teleporter's back over here. All right, it's a beautiful, bright, shining new day. I got 50 heartbeats ready to go. We just got the Fashion Pod Remover. And then I decided to go take a look at the 7Z Rewards Club again. And our next thing is the Slime Trophy number one. Let's buy it. And then what does that do for us? What does Slime Trophy number one do for us? Where can we buy that? Is it a, uh, a blueprint we can unlock? Cause that would be great to give our tabby a slime trophy oh these guys are mad over here so mad I haven't fed them forever let's take a look let's see clip on fashion that's fun googly eyes we need to get like all of these things unlocked so we can really you know provide them the best best stuff okay let's take a look here quick uh utilities warp tech decorations there's a slime trophy in here no, curios. Nope, we have the slime stage already done. Already installed that someplace. Huh, where do we get a slime trophy from? I wonder if it's a, a uh, it's a toy. I wonder if it's a toy. Oh, that would be a fitting toy, wouldn't it? That's the last thing he needs. What do you get for the, the, uh, Laura that has everything? Disco ball, crystal ball, power cell. Nope, 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 nope. Not here. Hmm, interesting. What about in here? Maybe for some reason? No. We could buy this though. We really want to spend some cash. Uh, if we need an extra key, and we're almost there. I'll hold off for now, but that's an option. All right, so, oh, it's right here. Oh, okay, it's a trophy for us. It's a trophy to me. It's a, it's a gaudy thing, isn't it? It's a very gaudy thing. And what is that? It's saying new bucks or whatever, and? Yeah, it's new bucks. It's a new buck symbol. I don't know why. I. I don't want this gaudy thing on my ranch. All right. Well, we get it as a reward for uh, spending so much money, I guess. I thought it would give it to one of my slimes, but apparently not. 
<clears throat> All right, let's get back to our our rock gordo, and we'll give him a, a good old meal, a final meal, really. At the end, it end, the end will kill him. All right, we made it back to our gordo friend here. I think he should be right over here. Sure enough. And hope you're hungry. We brought a lot for you. More than enough. There it is. Let's get these guys out of the way. Let's get these guys way far out of the way. Don't need this, don't need that. Just as I think if anything good comes out of these, we'll just get these guys out of the way. All right. Oka Oka is not that useful. We already have that back at the ranch. Nothing really exciting comes out of those anymore. But we did get a teleporter. And this is someplace new. I was It was here that I knew I had to leave once again. I had spent the entire day exploring, trying to find my way to this island. And though I spent the rest of the night walking along the shores of the soft glow of these firework, fire flowers, I caught myself looking up again and again. Once more, I was looking to the stars. So we are there, I think, is where we are. On one of these islands over here. Also, this is popping open for some reason. I think we're on one of these islands over here, possibly. Let's take a look here quick and see. Oh, sure, we're on this. This island right here. Okay, that makes sense. So where is here exactly? I love that there's like totally new territory I haven't even covered in the game yet. That's awesome. Brand new world. Just like that. How cool is that? And all these fire flowers are these things here. That's what he's that's what he's talking about. So that means there's there's more uh, pods over here too to get. And lots of stuff to explore, I'm sure. Oh look at this, there's like a little hole in here. Well, it doesn't really take me anywhere useful, but it's interesting nonetheless. Uh, can I get up higher? Nice. Nice. Higher and higher. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we got more Goros to feed. Well, he's easy enough to get to. He likes... Oka Oka? Right? No, he likes... um. Odd, 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 odd onions. That's what he likes. He likes the odd onions. Oh, look at this! And just like that, we found the other, uh, the, other, the other vault. Just like that. They're not tough to find at all. I thought they'd be way hidden. I thought I'd be looking forever to find these things. Found them both just walking around. And I guess they're not trying to be hidden, maybe. There are vaults that... Oh, there's a, there's a pod there. There are vaults that uh, he wanted us to find eventually. He just didn't unlock them until after we were ready. How did he know? I don't know. But he did. Also, didn't lock them until I had some like, like, like email from Casey, which is also interesting. <clears throat> Fireflower patch. Well, that's cool. I love these things. The fireflowers look amazing. So I don't mind that at all. Uh, let's see if we can find anything else special. I mean, there's got to be at least a couple over here. I mean, there's there's six there's six left to find. Actually, that's that's, that's less than I thought. Holy cow. We've done a lot of good work here, apparently. Now, the, the, the other places have more than one Gordo in them. I'm trying to remember if they did. I'm not 100% sure on that. Well, this looks like a thing, right? Sure enough, it is. I don't want you guys attacking me, though. Sorry. We got the red teleporter. Awesome! More teleporters. That is fantastic. Fantastic news. I didn't think there was going to be another one. But that is excellent. That is excellent, excellent, excellent. So there's lots of cool stuff to find still. At least this is going to be a hassle to try to find all of the different places. Because these are some of these are really quite well hidden. And I would be overcomplicating it because they are not like they're hidden in plain sight kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like they they have like that one had a little thing leading us down the road. We just gotta be willing to explore it. 
to find it. And that's it. That's all it takes. Just willingness to explore. So in that case, it might not be that big a deal to find some of these things. But I mean, what's me trying to make sense of randomness and an actual like planned planned spots for me to look? I mean, this seems like a thing right here, right? Like that seems like a thing. So that has to be that has to be something there, right? How would I get there? I don't know. But it seems like a thing. All right, well, in any event, let's feed this guy and get a key. Because I think he will give us a key. He's not tied to a teleporter or anything like that. And we can just get down through here. Boom. And then head back home. Okay, so let's see if we can see that island from the shore. <clears throat> from the shore here. We'd have to get to it from the uh, ruins, if anywhere. And I don't think we fully explored this yet either. It seems like there might be more here. Because here's where the Gordo is. We didn't get to the top of the peak here. If there's a way to get up there, we did not do it. And from there, we might be able to fly over to here with the right, right jetpack management. Okay. So in any event, let's get back home. And we'll get ourselves some of these odd onions. And we'll... uh. I guess I don't know what the best way of going back home would be. Oh no, come back. But we'll get ourselves uh, some of those odd onions to feed that guy. We'll need like 20 or so. And then uh, we'll go get ourselves some stuff and a new key maybe. All right, we're just about back to our teleporter here. I'm trying to think if I've seen all of the Gordos now. And I think we're still missing one because we are missing two keys here still. And I think we're missing a uh, a radioactive one, a rad rad Gordo. He might be in the island here still. I don't know for sure. I feel like I've seen him before and I haven't. I didn't didn't get the chance to actually feed him before, which is most possible. Which is possible. I just don't know. Like maybe I didn't have what he needed right away, so I just hold out held off on it. But yeah, I feel like. Uh, that's the only one either I haven't seen or when I saw him, I don't remember where he is. So that is, that is the one I need to find still. And he's definitely in this area. I'm, I'm almost certain he's in this area, not in this island perhaps, but he's definitely in the, the uh, indigo quarry. There's no chance he's anywhere else. Has to be. All right, here we go. Let's get you fed. All right, got some, what? Drop my, drop my boxes down there? That jerk. Did everything get eaten? No, the boxes are still intact for the most part. For now anyways. Anything good? No. And like the jelly stone here, he won't eat. I don't know if we've actually uh, missed anything here or not. There's a lot going on over here. I guess we missed this. Okay, well that's one down. And that's the key found. There's one more key here. And like I said, I believe it belongs to the Rad Gordo. And I don't think he's in here. Let's see if I can get to here. Where, would that, where might that be? And how might I get there? I think I could jump across through here and work my way upwards. Six is back to him. Okay. I mean, I don't know. The, the uh, map might be showing us the cave, like a cross section there. Is this kind of open terrain? So I don't even know if there's a way to get higher here. There doesn't look like there's a thing to climb on. I'm, just gonna, I'm willing to uh, explore though and find out for sure. I'm just not seeing anything. 
got that already. That's too high up. We can't get up there. We managed our jetpack just right. We can get over to here. Okay, is that a victory in any in any, any case? No. I still haven't gotten higher. And there's a possibility that there's a something back over here. We got that one already? I think we got that one already. That looks like opened. That looks open to me. I get the feeling we can't walk on this rock here. Yeah, the rock that's kind of without texture is not walkable, generally. Anything that has a texture on it, though, we can we can get to. And some stuff we, we can that has texture we can we can't we can still walk on. It's not a hundred percent rule, but I get the sense we are not meant to go over there. Well, okay, so we have to think about the teleporters. They're the, not teleporters, the uh, the vaults. Then, how I want to deal with those. There's apparently a lot of golden plorts inside of the treasure pods we got in there, according to, uh, I think maybe Thorn pulls that in the comments or in Discord or something like that. Um, so don't open all of them because we can't carry all of them right now. That makes sense. But uh, we can make a couple trips and do it all. In any event, let's head back home. I think we'll call it a day. Call it an episode, maybe. Uh, we didn't make any progress, though. We have a key, so we can open up that vault if we want to. Um, we have to go around searching the area here for a rad slime gordo. Where would he be? Let's see. Um, on top of a circle someplace seems likely. Also, like, on this island over here, maybe. Like just off to the side over there or you know not there but we found every single other kind we found the boom we found a tabby a couple tabbies now we found a couple of rock slimes gordo uh, we found the pink we found the phosphor we found the crystal now we found all of the the crystal uh, or the the uh, last desert ones. Is he the only one we're missing right now? That can't be all the keys. There's lots of doors to open still. Lots of locked doors around here. I find it surprising if that's all the keys. Have we seen a honey? Yes, we have. Have we seen a hunter? Yes, we have. Let's go back and look at our list here. All right, so check, 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 check. Check, check, check. And check, check, check. The only thing we haven't found yet are quantum. And rad. So there's potentially two out there. Um, I don't know if we found all the keys everywhere, though. Let's take a look quick and see. Make sure we found all the keys. And the Moss Blanket. Yes, we found the keys there. There's a lot of treasure pods to find here still. Um, of course, some of those will be in here. I guess we could go open these up. I don't think there'll be anything to feed in here again. The gold slimes will come back, I'm pretty sure. It's a one-time thing. Okay. But these treasure pods do, do remain until we want to open them. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll get some of these open. There were a total like 12 in here. I don't know if these count for the total or not. I know it doesn't look like they do this. This is outside though. This is outside of everything here. There's one. So it's 10 in each of these. So we can open five. And it'll be out otherwise. Anyways, I guess what we'll uh, just collect 50 of these gold ports and take these back home with us and throw them into our 
silo for a rainy day. And then uh, I'll come back next episode and open those other two vaults. Maybe explore around for more of these 7Z pods. Because we do need a few more still. As you can see from the list, we did not nearly get uh, any of them in the uh, moss blanket. Be worth exploring there a little bit, probably. And we haven't gotten any in the... Um, we've gotten many in, in the... Indigo core we're pretty much cleaned out. There's six more there. Let's take a look at the the dry reef. I don't know how we've gotten there here so, so far. A few. But we shouldn't have to worry about money for any time soon. We'll just wait for these to, to uh, appreciate in value. Use a little speculation. And uh, we'll be good on that. Well, there's the teleport I was thinking of. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's the teleporter. Nice. And uh, yeah, we'll put, these in, we'll put these away for a rainy day. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Slime Rancher. Sorry, I'm out of uh, logged in content for the most part. We're kind of waiting for the next update. So these uh, videos might slow down a little bit going forward unless I think of something really fun to do. But uh, I think we'll at least go open the vaults on the next couple episodes here at the very least. And um, I don't know. We'll see what else, what kind of other trouble we can get into. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode. And I'll be back for another one very soon. Let me just think down below in the comments. If you have any ideas of future episodes, let me know. And I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night. Oh, please don't say that you'll go. My heart can't bear the news. Just knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away.